Spirit Sports Consultants presents NFL Week 1 Best Bets and Detailed Picks. We're going to take a look at six games here in this video. We're going to give you three best bets. And then for all six, we're going to give you the best plays that we recommend. And before we get to the individual games, we ask that you please subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate it. We provide weekly NFL picks, highlights, sports travel, and also wagering and betting advice. Thanks again. NFL Week 1 Best Bets and Game Picks. These are the games we've identified two weeks out. We feel good about We're going to do this as part one of three. For this section, we like the Cowboys, Giants, Cardinals, Commanders, Packers, Bears, Titans, Saints, Texans, Ravens, and the Bucks at the Vikings. We'll be talking about those and we'll be giving you our score prediction and also those we've identified as best bets for this week. Let's start things off with our first best bet, and that's the Cowboys at the Giants. Even as a road favorite, which we typically avoid, we see several advantages for Dallas in this game. We'll show the scrimmage advantages they have against the pass right here. We want you to look at a couple key statistics. Look at the Dallas Cowboy defense, giving 6.2 yards per attempt, 54 sacks. With the addition of Stephon Gilmore, the Cowboys now have two premier cornerbacks to go along with a very fierce pass rush. And then on offense, adding Brandon Cooks gives them that 1-2 wide receiver option to go along with C.D. Lamb. So we think the Cowboys are going to be explosive this year, and we know there are a lot of Cowboy haters out there, but in this game we like Dallas 24-17. So we feature this matchup as our best bet number one on the side of the Cowboys. Looking at the best play available, you want to look for that minus three line. And if that's not available, you can't buy it down to three, take the money line. You don't want to get stuck with that three and a half, four point line because that's a definite advantage for the dog. Next up, we have an NFC North battle between the Packers and the Bears. And this one could go either way. We're not going to make the, we wouldn't recommend that you bet this. We like the Bears at home in a close one, 21-17, until Jordan Love kind of gets settled. And in our next game, we've got the Titans on the road against the Saints. We feel that the Saints are going to be an explosive team this year with Derek Carr coming in. you got receivers, Michael Thomas, Chris Olave, Alvin Kamara once he comes back. We feature this one as our best bet, too. We like the Saints by 10. Best play, Saints minus 3. We will make a pick on this next game, the Bucks at the Vikings. We caution against a wager on this one because too much is unsettled early on in the season. But we'll go with Minnesota 21-17. The line is currently Minnesota minus 7. We think the Vikings are just a little bit overrated, having lost Dalvin Cook and Adam Thielen. W remains to be seen how good they are offensively this season. Next, we have Arizona at Washington. We're going to take Washington here, 27-13. We like Sam Howell. I think he's got great potential. Love the receivers, love the running back, and phenomenal defense. We had Washington winning this game all along. We weren't sure if we wanted to add it as a selection, but we will. We're going to make this a new ad, and we're going to make this a spirit. Best bet number three, you want to take Washington minus six. This next game bothers me a little bit as a Texans fan. Texans going on the road to face Baltimore Ravens. Vastly improved Texans team, but you got to like Baltimore here. Tough for C.J. Stroud to start off his pro career on the road at Baltimore, looking at and trying to compete against Lamar Jackson. We think the Ravens are just too much, and they'll roll here. We feel like the best play here would be the under. The Texans did not show much on offense, but the defense looks vastly improved with D'Amico Ryans, the defensive head coach. And also we feel like they're going to run the ball with Damian Pierce to try to control the clock. So for our first batch of games, the best bets we've identified, the Saints minus three against the Titans. We love the Saints pass offense, and the Titans pass defense was in the bottom five last year. Big advantage for the Saints. Cowboys, similarly, with their pass defense, they should be able to really harass Daniel Jones and give him fits and make them rely on the running game. We also think they're going to be a more explosive pass offense themselves. And then the Commanders, we see a lot to like in preseason. We felt all along the Cardinals going into Washington was going to be tough. And with that Washington defense, we think they're going to be able to harass whatever quarterback the Cardinals put out there. And we like the Commanders in that one. That's all for this time. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe to our channel. And we look forward to sharing our future videos with you.